now i raise the jack to go underneath the car and the first thing is uh, you have to unlock that some some nut over here over here and after that uh, put the pants underneath and slowly remove that uh, oil some nut take the oil out so once that oil empty all then we can put the nut back then I remove that the cap over here and I put a little bit clean oil put some little bit clean oil to remove ex excess oil from the sump Put a little bit, then we can see now whatever the remaining oil start now draining, draining over here. It's a black color. You can see now, still oil is draining. Now nearly finishing. Now, meantime, we can we can put that um, basket a little bit underneath here, and we can remove the oil filter. Oil filter is sitting underneath over here. I'll show you the oil filter. It is sitting over here. The thing is, so we it's a normally hand tight. Uh, turn left very hardly, then it will start uh, turning. Once turn, then uh, excess oil is start draining uh, from the filter. So put, uh, just put underneath that. Uh, basket to get the extra oil out yeah and carefully not to spill extra extra oil <coughs> all right once you get that uh, oil filter just put over here And after that, get a new filter. And we have to oil a little bit uh, from the. You can put underneath here and and underneath here. Put some oil underneath here. Uh, the new rubber. Before put back again. You can hear this, see that hole. I'll put it here now.
get sturdy. See? It should be hand tight. Uh, just turn like this. Until <clears throat> just the hand tight. Now all the will now drain out. Yes. Do it. And put a new washer around that. The sump nut. And put back in. That uh, spinner is a 14 inch spinner and tied it. Then everything done underneath now and carefully remove the oil from underneath the car. That's the oil from the car. You can carefully remove. And after that, uh, we can remove the check. And remove that light as well. Careful, remove the check. oil for the car it's a pen right uh, full synthetic one HPR 5 5 to 10 40 that's, that's the best one in the market at the moment full synthetic which take about 3.7 liters for the car after putting certain amount of oil uh, check the oil level with the dipstick. Okay, it look like I still need some. Have a look. All right, I'll clean again. Check the oil level again. Because the new oil is hard to see now it's a half halfway still need the half a liter like need half a liter oil <coughs> Probably enough. After run the engine, 
we can check again because I need some little bit more oil for the oil field. After oil change, turn on the ignition and uh, run the car a couple of minutes. And the oil starts circling the engine and go to the filter as well. So run two, three minutes. Then uh, I stop and check first uh, underneath the car any oil leaks at all. While running the engine, uh, please check underneath the car. Also, after stop, check again uh, whether any oil leaks at all at the sump area or or from the oil filter. If it is not everything okay underneath, everything confirm. Everything sealed properly. And after stop the vehicle and leave it a little bit settle down the oil level. And then after check the oil level again, any top up needed at all, not, at all or not. Let me look at here. You can see. You can see now oil level up to the top level. So that's it for the oil service. It's a very easy job to do at home, save your money as well. And uh, Satongi Toyota Corolla is doing every 10,000 kilometers service. And thank you for watching. Please sub subscribe my channel for next notification. Thank you.